What's going on, everybody? So, back again, Addicted to Knives. Um, thank you for joining me. So, we got a Tuya. Um, this has been out for a while. Um, but I, I've had my hands on it a few times, but I haven't had it on the channel. I actually haven't had it to uh, review. Um, this is a pretty unique... Um, it's obviously like an axis style um, knife, but it's a pretty unique um, type of, uh, you know, knife in the case of it being an integral, but it's not any titanium or anything. It's carbon fiber, which is um, very unique. I don't think I ever, I don't think I've seen, I've seen G10, but not carbon fiber. Um, integrals so this is pretty uh, pretty cool um, I mean obviously if you can do it with G10 and, and uh, titanium uh, there's no reason why you can't do it for this but it's just a cool idea um, I will say this is this is the to you big belly by the way um, I don't know if I said I know I said to you but I don't know if I said to you big belly it's the big belly uh, the belly of the beast but um this this knife is is amazing for an access. I'm not an access lock guy. Like I freaking hate them, um, despise them. But this one, I don't know what magic they have done. I don't know if it's because of the integral, which I doubt. But um, they did some type of magic with this, and uh, it's it's like got a detent. I'm like, I don't know how they did it, but this thing, like, it's got, like, a freaking detent. I don't know what they did, um, but whatever they did, the placement of it, or, or what, but it's got a freaking detent. Like, sorry, I got an itch. It's so freaking good um it it blew my mind because i hate like i hate like this one an amazing knife freaking beautiful knife detent none nothing like absolutely nothing now this and I'm not doing it any harder. I'm actually gonna really do it hard. See, I gotta put wrist into it. Nah, that one worked, but. You can just tell by the it's it's a freaking and then this it's totally different and um I'm guessing it's the omega springs that they used are thicker um and just beefier which um, it could also be the placement of the, um, cause how Omega Springs work is there's a piece that wraps around, um, here and then goes around here. So it's a piece of metal that is like pinned in here. So it's, a, um, trying to think like think of like a, a paper clip that's bent um the tip of it is is bent like on a corner and stuck into a, a hole then it's brought around and wrapped around this but backwards so it's like that it's kind of like a an s and then it loops around here and that's what obviously gives that tension which I probably just confused the shit out of you's, but um, if you look up Omega Springs, I'll, I might, you know, if I get fancy, I might put one up here. Um, don't K 
count on it though. Um, <laughs> um, but it's like I've never ever felt anything, any access style lock like this. Never. And it's definitely my favorite um, access lock ever. And the knife itself, Ergo's a freaking killer. Like, that's comfortable as hell. You can choke up, you can get in. And they killed it on this. They, um, these grind, this grind line, look at that. It's fucking sick. Um, it is robust, but it does get down to a pretty thin edge. It's not like um, super crazy thin, but um, it's definitely uh, good enough for a good slicer. Um, only bad part is does not have a reversible um, pocket clip, which I mean, for me, I'm a righty, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, or at least I'm mainly a righty. Obviously, I can I fidget with both, so um, you know. But most um, access style locks I've noticed don't flick well. This thing flicks like a charm. Um. It also has good placement, so your finger can be out of the way of the, um, uh, I don't know what they call it. like, I guess, oh, the bar, I guess, whatever it is, the, the bar for the lock, which, um, another part of this that is pretty unique is, um, obviously it's an integral, so they obviously have to have, um, that anchored into some type of metal, so what they did is they milled a pocket out here. Um, I think they pretty much, um, I don't know if it's all the way through. Um, I think it is. No, it is not. They milled a pocket here and that is how they, where they put the spring because this is metal. So it's just a thin piece of metal that they put in there and the spring goes in there. So it's something that the spring can hold on to or be in, you know, so it's sandwiched between the um, carbon fiber and the steel or metal, whatever kind of metal it is. Um, and then that's where this um, kind of attaches to. So I think it's pretty... Uh, you know, pretty smart, honestly. Um, I, I can't get enough of that. It's almost like too strong, honestly. Uh, it's almost like if it was literally just a, like a little bit stronger, it would be too strong. And it's probably too strong for a lot of people. Um, I mean, I, I kind of don't care I, I flicked the fuck out of everything my thumb is actually like destroyed from you know flicking so much shit and you know messing it up but it's such a good freaking knife now this is the steel is um i'm pretty sure it's m390 let me double check yes m390 and it is actually um numbered um 071 out of 220 now there is um, a new model I think it's like the second version of it that instead of carbon fiber it is actually um, milled out of uh, G10 so um, the price I think is a little less and I don't think it's M390 I'm pretty sure don't like take it to the bank but um, I'm pretty sure it's uh, um, 154 cm um, which 
I, I mean, I like, I don't, I don't mind that at all. Um, I, I don't mind a lot of steals. Like, uh, I know a lot of people don't like, like, um, uh, RWL 34. I love that steal. Um, you know, they don't like D2. Like, I don't mind D2. Um, you know. So, I mean, all the steals can rust 90% of it, ex other than, like, um, the extreme corrosion ones, you know, like Vanex and stuff like that. So, LCN, you know, and stuff like that, they're not going to rust. But, everything else, trust me, can rust, especially in the summer. So, it's just a matter of taking care of your knives. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how we got into that but um it's just a good freaking knife let me see if i can uh get a small piece of paper and i can show you some cutting skills show you my cutting skills watch i probably won't cut this yeah see i won't there we go the way I was holding it. I mean, it's got a good, uh, you know. Now, this has been passed around a lot. Um, I'm, like, towards the end of this um, pass around, so it's been through probably, like, five or six people at the, at the minimum. Um, might have been more. So, it's seen uh, quite a few hands. So, um, yeah, so, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't look like it's been really sharpened, so to have a pretty decent, uh, factory edge left on it, um, I mean, it's not like anybody's doing hard chopping with it, maybe a piece of paper or whatever, but still, um, maybe a piece of cardboard, I'm not sure, I don't really do that, but who knows, but, um, I suggest get it, but, um, the new variant G10, honestly, that's a, a bargain because I think it's a little cheaper. I think it's like 150 ish or something like that. Um, this, I think, is like 250 I think it was. Something around there. Um, I think I have it here. Oh, no. Sorry. $279. Um, so... I mean, still, even at that, it's still a good price. Um, I, I, you know, I, I would get it if I, if I had it. Um, I have, um, my eye on a couple other things. So, yeah, but, um, yeah, that's the Tuya Big Belly. Um, I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. Um, this one is a Michael, um, uh, Galavik design. Um, I do like Tuya as a company. I, um, they are um, really nice people. Um, they come out with a lot of uh, unique designs, I will say that. And their work is really good. Um, they, they do have some, um, some good work. Uh, so, if you haven't tried a uh, Tuya knife yet, I suggest you go and get a Tuya knife. Um, there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of different ones. Um, let's see. Um, the NV V2 is like, is amazing. Um, normally, it's out of stock, so if you see it in stock, buy it let me know i'll buy it off of you <laughs> um i would i suggest buy it it's for the for 300 or even at 300 but at 249 250 it's like a a, a four or five hundred dollar knife all day long um cebu i had one killer knife multi-row bearings um it is g10 but um with d2 blade but it's got some sick action and um, a sick sheep's foot blade that is fucking slicey. Um, 
I haven't tried that. I heard it's pretty good. There goes the big belly. You got some fixies, uh, fixed blades, um, some more titanium, um, some pocket clips, some more fixies, a karambit. Um, this one supposedly is a, is a um, really good one, the Kingsman V2. Um, the build quality on it is supposedly um, pretty decent, pretty, pretty good. Um, trying to find the... Uh, this one, supposedly the Hive V3, is supposed to be um, amazing. Um, so, this one is unique as hell. I will say that. Um, I've always wanted to get my hands on the um, Knight's Edge Tuya Templar. Um, here we go. Here's what I wanted to show you guys. This is the new G10 Integral Big Belly V2. Yeah, it's 160 bucks, um, and it's got all this, um, different colors, jade, brown, uh, I don't know what the hell that is, um, red, black, um, let me see if I can find the steel, where's the steel, um, yep, 154cm, so, um, and you still got the uh, titanium. Oh, and it's reversible now. No way. Is it always reversible? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe it's always been reversible. Maybe it is reversible. Huh. I don't know how it would be, though. How would you reverse it? I guess you would just unscrew that. Huh. Yo, that actually looks pretty badass with the black wash. I like that. I don't know, maybe I might be I might have to get one myself. But it's a good knife. Um I would imagine they would have kept the um, strong, um, the strong uh, O spring, uh, O springs, Omega springs, because I know a lot of people, um, you know, really like that about this knife was that it did have really good Omega springs, and um, it, it actually has a detent feeling, not a detent per in you know the the regular detent aspect, but you know, for a, um, like, it's, it's hard to pull out, you know, so, if you can, maybe you can see it, you see down there, it sits down there pretty, um, pretty deep, so, like, the notch in there, so it gives it a good detent feel, I guess you could say feel, so, um, yeah, I might have to pick up one of them G10 ones, um, so, check it out, but hopefully it does have the same one, but, um, thanks for coming by, um, well, we didn't do Ergos, kind of, did we? I guess we did do Ergos, yeah, yeah, whatever, I love you guys, take it easy, be safe, um, you know, Take a load off. Take a nap. Have a beer. Not really. Don't have a beer. Or do. It's up to you. I'm, like, losing it. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Peace out.